Welcome to Flash Tutorial 19. I'm calling it 3D ish, like as in three dimensional ish rotation. I'm starting a new FLA, Action Script 3, and I'm keeping 550 for my width, 400 for my height, 24 frames per second, and I'm keeping the white background right now. Okay. Call this square, S-Q-U-A-R-E. We're going to make a square on this frame. Put this down to about 50%. Pick up your rectangle tool. If this is an uh, oval or a circle, just click in the little corner here and you get this menu, click re rectangle. I don't need any stro stroke, so click there click there no stroke and a fill I'm going to go with a grayish color and I'm going to draw a rectangle and just make sure I cover the screen that's it pick up my selection tool I'm going to highlight it all turns fuzzy go up here modify convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected and make sure you have that center square here selected and call it square s q u a r e shift underscore m c copy that okay open the properties panel and paste that in for an instance name square underscore m c now double click on it now we're inside that square movie clip call this layer background b g lock it Insert a layer, call it ball, B-A-L-L. -L. Select frame one. Come over here, click on the corner. You're probably seeing the rectangle tool right now. Come down here, click oval, so I have the oval tool. Keep no stroke and change the fill to red. Make this 100%. Hold your shift down and make a little ball right here. Pick up your selection tool, highlight it, modify, convert it to a symbol. Again, make sure movie clip is selected and the center registration, ball, B-A-L-L -L underscore M-C. Copy that. Okay. Open the properties panel and paste that in for an instance name. The ball still should be selected. If not, pick up your selection tool and highlight it. Right click on the ball, create a motion tween. It generates 24 frames, one second of motion. And click here, right click, insert a keyframe, positioning keyframe. And let's click on this ball and move it there. Then come up about 25 each frames, I'm up to 50, right click, insert a keyframe, position, move the playhead up to there, click on the ball, drag it down to there, go up to about 75, right click, insert keyframe, position, drag the playhead up to there, move the ball down approximately here, and go up another 25, somewhere around 100. Insert a keyframe, position, move the playhead up to there, and put the ball back at the beginning. Beginning, You can see the light underneath there, somewhere around there. And now, take your cursor, move it in to get that arch, and make that arch. Make an arch here. One here, so we're sort of giving it this circle each path to take and you can click here and drag that down and play around with it so now that's going to if i hit my enter button that's going to go around like that and right here we want to lock that ball layer click on the last frame of the background layer right click insert a keyframe to bring the background up to there go back to scene one lock that layer insert layer call it action script as
select that frame one of the actions layer open the actions panel mine's here if yours is not here go up to window and find it action click on it it'll open up and we got some typing to do type 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 uh, it's going to be an event listener stage s-t-a-g-e small s turns blue period add event listener small a capital e capital l that turns blue open bracket event capital e v-e-n-t period enter underscore frame that's all uppercase capitals turns blue comma i'm calling it spin s-p-i-n with a capital s close bracket and a semicolon and here's the function f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n spin that's what we called it s-p-i-n you can copy this spin and paste it in open bracket event capital e-v-e-n-t you can copy this event and paste it in close bracket there's a open curly bracket for my function and as you start to type this line here you'll get this close curly bracket come if it doesn't put it in and we're doing this one at a time s-q-u-a-r-e underscore m-c that's the big black square with the ball inside of it period rotation x small r capital x turns blue equals 10 semicolon so now let's test that out and it's going to rotate on its x-axis the x-axis is this way so it's going to sort of rotate towards us control test movie test and you can see it if I open it up big enough it's rotating towards us see that rotating towards me and the ball is spinning in a clockwise direction now I think I want to make that smaller so let's go back to here back to the timeline let's lock this layer and click here and if I go down to 25 percent I can see that oh it's not that much bigger let's make this black a little bit smaller so click here go over here click on this get free transform tool you see all those squares hold your shift down and pull them in and I'm making that just a little bit smaller go back here click this go back to the actions code let's try that now that was 10 degrees let's make it um, 180 degrees for a second 180 and try it test movie test and it flipped right over went right around now the ball is going in the opposite direction because we're sort of looking at the other side of it let's go somewhere between let's go um, around 80 degrees control test movie test and you can see there it is 80 degrees if I go 90 degrees you won't see anything because it'll be completely perpendicular or horizontal and there's nothing because it has no no depth so it's not really 3d at all but it's a it's a funny thing so now you can do that with the that was the X axis you can do the same thing with the Z axis let's just show you what the Z axis is by itself for a second and, and let's make it a little more obvious let's make it 60 degrees control test movie Z is like looking into it and see it turning there see it turned on us that whole thing turned okay that's the Z axis if you didn't get that and let's do the Y axis for a second 30 degrees the Y is this way see it's that way so now I don't know what you can do with that but it's just a, a, a thing now I'm taking them all I'm taking the X axis I'm taking the Y axis and the Z axis all three and all this says is um, square underscore mc period rotation x make sure it's a capital x plus plus semicolon and up here it said square underscore mc period rotation x make sure those x y's and z's are capitals equals 90 semicolon so now this plus plus means uh change by one pixel each frame so 24 times a second that's going to be adding a pixel and it's going to sort of spin and it has a interesting effect it's here 
But notice it keeps coming back. It's always traveling clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. Comes back, it's still traveling clockwise, clockwise. Let's just do um, a couple of them. Let's get rid of the X for a minute and just do the Z and the Y. I really don't know what you can do with this, but it is interesting. There's the Z and the Y. But now, see, it's going backwards. The ball is now turning this way. So, I don't know really what there is to learn, but I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.